Hey guys, thought I'd make a uh, follow-up video to conclude the build log on the specialized delay that I finally finished making uh, just today. It took a lot longer than it should have and I always make every mistake there is to make, but eventually we end up with some kind of final product. And uh, so far, within the past two days, I've put about 100 miles on this bike and I love it so far. It's really cool. I really love the frame, even though it's aluminum, it handles and feels exactly like the carbon fiber tarmac that I had previously, but at a fraction of the price. So I'm really happy about that. Um, in terms of building the bike, the biggest pitfall was this front derailleur and it caused me quite a bit of, or quite many headaches. Um, the thing with this was that it originally had the Octolink bottom bracket in here. And uh, when I had the old crank set on, the Claris cranks, <clears throat> uh, the, the main issue was that the um, big chainring here was too far outboard. And so when I would adjust the front derailleur, it wouldn't pull the chain out enough to actually get it to come in. And uh, so I kept thinking that um, what I would have to do is replace this bottom bracket with something narrower. And um, the Octolink bottom bracket for the Shimano Claris crank set that used to be in it was 130 millimeters, I believe, or 120. And this one here is 109. So uh, those few, <laughs> about a centimeter difference means that this crank or this big chain ring is about one centimeter more inboard which allows the front derailleur to be able to put the chain into it. And that took quite a lot of uh, just messing about to eventually realize that. And then the other thing is all clamp-on front derailleurs are the same if they're for double uh, or triple crank. So a double front derailleur will have the same outboard motion or comes out given a click of the left shifter um, as does any other double front derailleur and I for some reason couldn't get that through my head when I was building the bike so I kept switching between derailleurs thinking maybe I could avoid changing the um, bottom bracket and crank set but uh, <laughs> things always turn into a lot more of a mess than they should have been in the first place so um, what I wished I knew heading into this project uh, would have been there is a barrel adjuster right here that you can add in tension uh, into your front derailleur cable by uh, unscrewing this barrel and that allowed the front derailleur to be able to come out enough that I could actually get it into the big chain ring. Uh, other than that, everything else went pretty smoothly. Uh, the brakes work, got the new handlebars on, and then as for the stem on here, um, I wanted to slam it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I slam all my bikes uh, just because it gets you into more aero position and uh, I like how it feels more or handles and um, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, they do have special uh, caps to go on kind of the bottom one so that it sort of seals up the uh, bearings that are uh, within the headset that, ha that allow it to move freely. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so this isn't exactly the right dimensions, but it's close enough and I don't really care too much about cosmetics as long as the bike runs and uh, feels good. And so, um, yeah, that's uh, that. And then another thing to note is I had some uh, old look Kia pedals kicking around and uh, I didn't know this until I finally uh, just tried messing with them a little bit. I originally wasn't using these because the uh, clips would come out way too easily and I was figuring it was because the spring right here was just becoming denatured over time or uh, just getting old with age. Um, but you can actually add in tension into the system by uh, adjusting this Allen key here and that makes it, uh, these cleats essentially feel like brand new and they still hold my uh, shoes in. So uh, I wish I knew that as well. Um, so you don't always need to buy new cleats or pedals if uh, your shoes are coming undone you can try first just adjusting this uh, tensioner here. And other than that, everything uh, went pretty well. The only other thing to note, <laughs> the front derailleur was the uh, center of attention for this whole project for me. It took 
most of my time and I really shouldn't have, but with I'm so used to having um, brazon derailers where you, there's a thing here that you just screw on. Um, with these clamp-on derailers, it adds kind of a three-dimensional adjustment ability to it because you can rotate this derailleur or um, move it up or down. And so getting it right is a bit tricky. Um, the main point in terms of up or down motion is just make sure that it clears the teeth when it comes out, which it <laughs> it can't even do that, so I need to ch actually adjust this. Um, but also adjusting the uh, side to side motion um, is something that uh, you do by just making sure that it is in line with the cogs back here. And so as long as it's straight, uh, you shouldn't really have any problems. And then um, the other thing to note about this is this wheel set that I have uh, is a pretty old uh, Mavic Cerium when they were still making them in France. And uh, I love them, they're excellent wheels. They hold together for a long time, but uh, especially when they get older, I, uh, the uh, grease inside the, the hub starts to drain out or get washed out or you get dirt in there. And uh, I looked a lot online and I could never figure out why I was doing that. I have another set of Cerium's on my other bike but um, the cause of that is you just need to throw in some fresh grease into the hub. So you take off the cassette, you undo the two Allen keys, um, and then the hub will come off. And then there's a little tooth in there that you just uh, pack full of new grease and then the sound goes away. It's a rather scary sound when you're going downhill. Uh, very quickly the rear wheel will start to chatter and it's a little bit scary and sometimes I think something's about to go horribly wrong but I eventually realized um, it's just a matter of repacking the uh, grease inside the hub so uh, yeah there's that and then uh, just getting all the other little fine-tuned adjustments done but uh, yeah I really like this bike I'm happy with how it turned out and uh, yeah let me know if you guys have any questions about it um, I highly recommend the LA. It's a great frame. If no one's ha if you've never ridden one, it's a really nice handling bike. I'm coming from a steel frame road bike that it, it's it's pretty well. It, it's very good, especially for its time. It's from the late '90s. Uh, it's probably as old as I am. Um, but there's something about this aluminum frame that just really it's like car suspension. It's able to keep both wheels on the road as you're going over bumps. That's uh, incredible and it's it handles turns very nicely and um, yeah I can't say enough good things about it I'm happy I got the frame and uh, I think the group set goes along very nicely with it uh, yeah and just let me know if you have any questions and uh, if I can help out love to take care guys